Hood food is the best food. <laughs> Only real people would know that. Head my chest up and catch that frame cause beauty is my name. What up beauty gang? So I'm looking hella ragged, hella crusty. It's like 5 in the morning and I'm about to catch my 6.30 flight to New York in the next couple minutes or whatever. No, about an hour, not minutes. But yeah, this is really freaking awkward. People watch you as you are walking by because I look probably self-centered to them, but little do they know, I have like 200 and what, 17 beauty gang members that I'm talking to, hello. But yeah, I'm excited. It's the first time I've ever traveled by myself, so it's a little bit nerve wracking. And I'm actually very empty handed. I only have this little purse um, because I thought that my bag was a carry-on. Um, and I got all excited and stuff, but the one was like, no, if you take that back there, they're gonna charge you $60. So yeah, I just have to check in my bag, get my boarding pass. Oh, by the way, it is Friday the 20th and I'm flying my mom and Josh out for Saturday evening because the meet and greet is on Sunday. For those of you guys who don't know and haven't been tuned in with Beauty Gang the way you should, look at me talking and going the wrong, dog wrong way. Um, so originally I was going to New York for BeautyCon with Jujube and then we ended up getting this big blessing and opportunity to end up having a meet and greet um, hosted by Diva Curl. So our New York trip just went zero to 100 really freaking quick. But nothing but blessings, really excited. Like I said, it's the first time I'm ever traveling by myself. So like I'm a little bit nervous. I've never traveled by myself before, but I know it's time. Um, and this is only the beginning. But yeah, anyway, so my best friends, are all flying out later this evening. They have a late night flight. And yeah, my cousin, one of my cousins actually already lives in New York, which is kind of a bonus because I'm gonna go hang with her after um, after I land. So that's pretty dope. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep you guys updated and in tune with this trip. Super excited. Gonna try to vlog as much as possible while still enjoying like this moment. This is like huge. This is huge. My first meet and greet ever and it's being hosted by a really big, well-known brand. And it's just blessings on blessings on blessings. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. None of this would even be possible without you guys, so I haven't had the opportunity to thank you guys. So thank you so much for being on this journey with me, being a part of Beauty Gang, only the beginning. Can't wait to meet some of you guys. I know a lot of you guys are from New York, so yeah. I'm about to go ahead and sit down now. I made it to my gate. And what time is it? Hmm. Oh, so it is 5.40 right now. So I have 20 minutes and then they're gonna start boarding us. So that was like perfect timing. Not having to wait too long to get boarded, but you know, you know. So yeah, let me go ahead and chillax, regroup myself and get myself prepared for this exciting lit ass weekend I'm about to have. So excited. All right, you guys, bye. lunch date with Juju and Sam who's helping host our Diva Curl meet and greet event on Sunday so we're going out to lunch together I did take down my hair while I was at my cousin's house it's a little bit flat but I knew that's how my first day here is so it'll be big as the days progress but yeah I'm really excited I was gonna like film me taking down my hair and stuff but things have been like that since I got off the plane I haven't really had any time to really take in the fact that I'm in New York I don't know if you guys can see this It's super pretty out here and stuff, but 
yeah, I just want to update you guys. So I will see you when I make it to lunch. Yeah, when I got in my Uber, I got shrimp and grits, guys. Shrimp and grits. Didn't say anything. That was so weird to me. Like she came in and sat right next to me, and it's like on her phone. And normally in DC. So we're talking about kind of like oils and what oils will do to your specific hair strands. So in an ideal world, you have a strand of hair and the cuticle is sealed. So the cuticle is down, it looks flat like you would for a straw. When the cuticles are open, that's what will happen when you put hot water on your hair if you introduce steam, your cuticles open. And it starts to kind of look like a pine cone. Now, depending on the porosity of your hair is how well your hair will take to moisture in certain products. If your hair is at a normal porosity level, it means it's like receptive to moisture. So ideally, what you want to do is open your cuticle, introduce some sort of moisture, and you want a water-based moisture, not an oil-based moisture, because what the oil oil is going to do is going to clog it and not let moisture in, because water and oil are kelly each other. So once the cuticle is open, you want to like add in your deep conditioners, let it sit, let it absorb. Then you want to close your cuticle, and that's why you always comb down with your hair. You're sealing that cuticle shut, and that's when you go in with cold water because it forces the cuticle to recontract. Okay. So that moisture gets lost into your hair. If you were to do that with oil, literally the water stops and will roll off your hair. It's the same idea as silicone. Silicone, literally, if you look it up, means water repellent. It adds that shine that you're used to, that you see in a lot of like the Pantene commercials, but really, like, it's a band aid for the problem, right? It makes your hair look shiny and healthy, but it's repelling water. And what does your hair need more than anything? Moisture, hydration, not foundation. Mm. Heard from an Thank expert, you, you guys. Oh <laughs> so we're all eating our desserts right now. Three of us have peanut butter. What is this called? Peanut butter what? Peanut butter cookies? I don't know. Cookies? It's like an Oreo, but peanut butter cookies. And what do you have? I have French chocolate pie. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> so yeah. Just talking and chatting and living it up in New York. So you guys, we just left a lunch. Dang, that was became like a brunch to lunch. Oh yeah, it literally started as a breakfast. Yeah, we were there for like three or four. Yes. Okay. We were there for like three hours talking to Sam and Jillian. Is it Jillian? Jay. Jay. Yes. Sam and Jay it went amazing. Now we're about to go get Juju. Thank you. Some laser hair she's doing some laser thing and I'm going with her so we're kind of kicking off our day officially now but yeah see you guys there so right now I'm I'm sorry you guys <laughs> so right now I'm waiting on Juliana to get prepared for her laser away thing I'm gonna help her record some of it for I think her blog and for her Instagram it's called a race spa, by the way, where we're at, isn't it? So, yeah. All right, guys. So we just left a race, a race away. No, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, no, I said eraser it. Erase what? Erase what? Erase spa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys. So we just left the laser place. So I'm gonna just say the laser place. <laughs> And we're about to, well not about to, we're walking to the train right now because trains are way cheaper out here than Ubers and Lyfts. So we're about to get that uh, New York Metro service, whatever, experience. That'll be my first time. Is it your first time? No. Oh, all right. Juju's an expert. This is all new to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're in the city walking towards the train station. <laughs> garden was in New York and let me say this too New York is way worse than Chicago like I have a newfound appreciation for Chicago traffic Chicago drivers Chicago pedestrians it's ridiculous it's ridiculous out here people like really have a death wish I'm not understanding but all right still trying to get to the train all right you guys so we finally made it to our airbnb <laughs> and it was a trip okay so i seemed all happy and whatnot we were walking to the train and walking through the city i'm tired as hell now so we ended up having to walk to the train took a train that was like 20 minutes or less like 20 minutes yeah and then we ended up having to walk to the bus station, took a bus. Then we have to walk to our Airbnb all with our suitcases. Like, 
So it's been a trip. And then we just got some food in the hood. Isn't it funny, though? Because comment below if you get what I mean when I say this. Hood food is the best food. <laughs> Only real people would know that. But, yeah. So I got um, three wings and some fish. And Drew got a, wing, a fish dinner. Yeah. So we're about to eat that. So we can catch the itis. So we yeah. can take a nap. A power nap. Yeah, we're purposely... <laughs> Yeah. So that we can get itis. We want the yeah. itis. <laughs> we want the itis. So we can get a good power nap in and then we have a style hall event later yeah. this evening to it go to. Starts at eight. Yeah, it so starts if at we're eight. Trying to get there at one time, we should be leaving now, but a nap is a nap is necessary for tonight. So we're gonna go to a style hall event later tonight and get kinda cute and stuff. Well, Jew's already cute. I look, I look bummy today. But, yeah, so I'm about to eat, take my power nap, and I will see you later. So, you guys, we're on our way to a style hall event. We got invited, well, invited, whatever, to a beauty <laughs> event. So, it kind of just fell in our laps. It wasn't planned, but I'm excited. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Let's see. It sounds lit. Is it awkward just to walk in with that? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Cause you're loving the way that you want Move your body if you're loving the way that you talk One time if you're confident Clap two times cause you're on me Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on the day by day Head high, chest up, let me catch that frame Cause you